Hello everybody, what's going on? Jerome here, and today I have for you guys some really exciting stuff to show you all, and that is footage from the behind the scenes of a TV show that I'm going to be on called Talking Minecraft. Basically, they took the Minecraft documentary, put it on TV, and then they had Captain Sparkles, myself, and Jessica Chobot from Nerdist News actually go on TV and just kind of commentate about the uh, documentary, talk about what we feel about Minecraft, what we got us started on YouTube, and things like that, and just really have great banter about Minecraft. So it's really awesome, it's cool, and I I thought you guys would enjoy these behind the scenes footage. So I'm gonna let that play and in the description I'll have all the details running about where you can catch it on TV, when and all that stuff and uh, I'm really hyped about it. So let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below. Let's try and crush the like button because this is honestly some of the biggest news I've ever gotten. Like I, I, I'm gonna be on TV, I never really thought that would happen so that's phenomenal. And uh, yeah, so this first clip I'm gonna show you guys is really just us preparing to get on set and, uh, and just kind of get everything ready to go. It's a short clip but it just shows you a little bit about the behind the scenes of uh, what happens before you walk on stage. So, here we go. Here, basically explain what the story is, like, you know, why you made this video, and the fact that, like, you not only play games on Minecraft, but, you know, you make all kinds of videos. All right, everybody. So after that happened, we pretty much got to go right on stage, and when we were walking up there, I gotta say, the one thing that made it crazy, as well as just being on TV, was the fact that there was a live studio audience. So, let alone the fact that when you're normally just commentating or something, you can read the comments and, and get a feel for what people thought about the video you had made. Imagine getting, like, an instant reaction, though. So it was a lot different, you know, when you told a joke or something and people laughed. But uh, just to show you guys the enthusiasm of it, here's an awesome clip just kind of letting you guys kind of get a feel for what it was like. Another YouTube phenom, Mr. Jerome ASF. Hi, uh, Jerome. <laughs> You'll be flying the yellow. Captain Sparkles, Jordan, come on now, buddy. Miss Jessica Chobot from Nerdist News, my old attack at the show. So let alone that being awesome, just having that kind of support from everyone around there and the applause and everything like that, uh, which, which, which was just amazing, it was real cool. They actually let me show one of my clips on TV, which is from my A Day in the Life of Jerome. I'll leave a link in the description if you haven't seen it, but pretty much I put on a Minecraft suit and I go around just doing my daily tasks, like trying to pet my dog to playing piano, which I don't actually play, just kind of thought that'd be funny, and then also uh, going into the grocery store and buying a fish, all in one of these crazy suits. So they let me show it on TV, and I thought that was cool, so here you go. This is me talking a little bit about it, and uh, yeah. So, Jerome, you actually made a video documenting the ins and outs of your life as a YouTuber. Uh, yeah, something like that, something like that. Uh, but yeah, so I guess pretty much, if uh, we're ready to check that out. So yeah, obviously, you know, waking up in the morning is pretty difficult when you got no hands to really click the buttons on your coffee maker or even your keyboard. It takes me hours sometimes like a video description. Uh, playing piano daily tasks. Impossible. Dog hates me. You know, it's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> So in this clip, I'm not going to show everything about it, because you guys got to watch the TV show to find that out, but pretty much they ask me how I go about finding new content to film every day, especially on a busy schedule of, I do three videos a day, some days if I, if I don't have enough time, I'll do two, but for the most part, three videos a day. So they asked me how I did that, and uh, well, you're about to find out a little bit about that, and if you want to see more, obviously, watch the show and you can figure it out. That is successful, that people are looking for, and trying to find yeah, ways to change it a little bit. So whether or not maybe a new mod's out, uh, like I know Lucky Block was blowing up over the summer and saying, all right, this is what people want to watch, so I'm just going to take that and change it a little bit or tweak it a little bit and just adhere to that kind of formula, I guess, of looking at what people are searching for. Now, this part I just thought was funny. It's it's, it's all of us getting our makeup done and hair done. I, I, I don't know. I, I just thought it was funny, so I decided to throw this one in. I, I really... I, I, I got nothing. I don't, I don't know. Oh, okay. All right. So should we just pick it up from that? We're gonna last pick question? it up from Jerome. Yeah, we'll pick it up from Jerome answering. She can tee up the question. We'll just go from her going. Uh, you know, Jerome. What about you? What it? What do you see for the future? Did you um, want me to take that other one off too? Uh, since we're gonna redo this one. 
So yeah, this part is just going to show you guys how important, I guess, the live studio audience is to the actual, uh, the dynamic itself, I guess, of the TV show. So you'll kind of see what goes into that, kind of pumping them up, and how their energy that they give out is the same energy that we're able to put in. And uh, it's just kind of like a symbiotic relationship, you know? Like, the more that they applaud, the, the, the happier they are, the more lively they are, the more lively we feel on stage. Because believe it or not, the entirety of it all, I, I don't want to miss, like, quote this or anything, but I, I think, like... I think we got there around like 8 a.m. and I don't think we left until like 5 at night, which doesn't seem like much, but when you're standing on your feet and, and, and talking and trying to, uh, I, I don't know, just trying to do TV stuff for, for like 9 hours, it's, it's a lot. It gets tiring, so it's cool to have that little energy boost. Alright guys, so remember, big energy up here, big energy up here, as soon as we get into like, I'm just a good show butters. <laughs> So in this next part, pretty much, we all just get on stage, and this is actually something that's going to air on, I think, either a TV show right before it or sometime nearby it, uh, just kind of promoting the Talking Minecraft show and letting everyone know what they can expect from it. Short clip I thought was cute, and uh, I don't know. Let me know what you think. We even got a couple of big shot YouTubers on hand, Captain Sparkles and Jerome ESF. More importantly, we're going inside the game and bringing you all with us. This is Fusion's Talking Minecraft. Yeah! So this next clip, I'm not gonna ruin it for you and say who wins or anything like that. But pretty much, I actually had the uh, had the privilege, I guess you could say, of putting together my own mini game based off of the Ore Spawn mod, and I got to take on Captain Sparkles as well as Jessica Chobot to see who was the real champion of Minecraft modded PvP. So find out, and uh, yeah, I think you guys will like it. <laughs> no! I have one heart left. Oh man! No. Kill the you guys are ganging up on me! So this clip right here pretty much is just a really cool thing I got to do where I actually got to have two different segments and uh, the first segment was a top five Minecraft maps that I compiled together just in my own opinion what I thought of them. Uh, so it's, it's not based on anything, it's, it's based on just personal opinion. Uh, and then the second one was also my top five favorite uh, mods and stuff like that. So I'm just going to interlace the last two clips of this thing and uh, you guys get to see one of my picks for each of them. So you know, I'm not going to say what the rest are and I'm not going to show the full clip but you'll see part of, of it and uh, and it was really cool like, it was awesome it was like a whole segment that I really got to tailor myself and uh, and just kind of create uh, which which I thought was cool so let me know what you think yeah. Yeah. Right. right so you're gonna be like and I've got a special treat for you guys <laughs> load it up on your computers <laughs> the wall you know direct from Westeros the wall <laughs> the Lucky Blocks mod, and if you don't know what this is, it's basically a mod that has three different blocks in one that really- And the way it works is whenever you bring one of these, obviously depending on which version of it it is, it'll have either good or bad effects. So let's say you break a Lucky Block, one time you'll get a Diamond Sword, and the next time you might get a giant monster that comes to eat you. It's, uh, <laughs> it's all the so I don't know. Alright everybody, so that's it. Thank you all for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you did, please crush that like button down below. Be sure to also comment down below saying, I don't know, whatever you thought about it. If you think this is cool, let me know. If, uh, if, if you're gonna watch it, let me know. I mean, I don't know. I, I thought it was exciting, and I think it's gonna be a really cool thing to do. So, uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I just, I guess I wanna thank Fusion for having me on the show. Uh, this is a really big deal to me. Like, I've, you know, I've never done anything on TV, so this is, this is real cool. And, uh, and I think you guys will love it. So just, I don't know, be sure to tune in if you can. Once again, I'm gonna have all the details down below in the description of when you can watch it, where you can watch it, uh, just everything like that. And uh, yeah, I really hope you guys check it out and, and let me know what you think. So that's about it. Have an awesome day. Peace out and I love you all.